I usually incorporate TR in my teaching and in outside presentations to groups in my church and community. While I've developed a confidence in the method and a sense of flow over the years, TR will look different as I use it with different audiences and in different settings. It is also more readily embraced by certain groups. For example, when I teach theology to undergraduates at my university, most of whom are 18 to 22 years of age, they may have little interest in learning themes from Christian tradition. Thus, they and I are hampered in the use of TR. On the other hand, Christian adults are typically excited by the TR method and use it enthusiastically, even if they lack formal background in theology. They draw insightfully on their own experiences and situations, and their maturity in faith allows them to make the most of their theological knowledge in connecting Christian tradition with new actions in their lives. Although I've stressed the conversational dimension of TR, and you have practiced it in groups in largely verbal ways, oral and written, part of effective adaptation also involves exercising nonverbal capacities. The use of art, dance, play, movement, and other dimensions of human expression are very important for TR. For example, I led a workshop with lay ministers in which they drew colorful representations of the four phases of TR on large pieces of paper. I also once taught a class with adults from many cultural contexts, and one of the students, a trained dancer, created and led a dance in which all of us expressed with our bodies the movements of TR. In this unit, I want to encourage you to exercise flexibility and imagination in adapting TR for your ministry. The reading and instructor's notes will offer some further examples. If you are currently involved in full-time study, your opportunities to do this now may be limited. However, keeping aware of the TR habitus in your everyday round of activities may well yield unexpected opportunities. One of my students, after learning to use it, remarked that TR became part of her thinking in almost every situation. At the least, I believe that it will increase your consciousness of God's presence and activity in your life and cause you to be more attentive to the rhythm of moving, in Thomas Groom's words, from life to faith and faith to life.